Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com and today's video is reviewing the Guo flute. Before I get into the review of this flute, let me remind you about um, Flute Center of New York and using my code DRFLUTE. If you have any flute needs, you want to buy some sheet music or you're looking for a new head joint or you're just wanting to trial some new flutes, go to Flute Center of New York and use my code. And with that code, you get a few perks. So you'll get on trials, you'll get free shipping, you'll get a 10 day trial instead of seven day. And when you buy that instrument or head joint, you'll get an 18 month warranty. So uh, use D-R-F-L-U-T-E. So this is a Guo flute, it's apple red. And it's, it's really fun. It's fun to have a, a flute that has some color to it uh, with the white keys. Um, and it's a very interesting instrument. Uh, before I get into playing it, let me just uh, clarify. There's a little bit of a difference. If you are purchasing a Guo flute from Flute Center of New York, they do not guarantee, there's no warranty on the instrument. However, the... Guo flute comes with this uh, owner's manual in the case and in there it says that the Guo manufacturer guarantees a two-year warranty. So you are covered regardless of the Flute Center of New York policy. You can always send it back to the manufacturer. Let's take a, a look at the instrument. Now it comes in a case, all one piece. So it is, it looks like this in the case. And that does make the case longer. Let me show you what it looks like. So I have it open here. This is the case. It's closed. It's all put together in here. There's a nice carrying strap over here that you can put it over your shoulder. Uh, the case inside is aluminum. So it's also light and there is a cleaning rod in that case. So it's a great sturdy case for your flute. It does come all in one piece. However, the head joint does come off. And there is, I will show you, another head joint that we're gonna try with it. So you can change out the head joints just like on a regular uh, silver, metal, or other metal type of flute. Now, one thing that you notice right away when you pick it up is how light it is. I think it says it's 8.6 ounces. I'm not sure what that is in uh, grams, but it is very light. And I guess it's lighter than I expected. So when I had the case, the case has some heft to it because you want it protected. But when you take it out of the case, it was definitely lighter than I anticipated it to be. Uh, and I like that. I like that feeling. Uh, there are reasons why a person would need a light flute. So if you have hand problems, uh, you might want to consider a flute of this type. Uh, and if you are playing a bass flute, if you're a bass flute player, they make bass flutes and alto flutes and they are, well, they're going to be heavier than this 8.6 ounces. They're going to be much lighter than a bass flute. My daughter's been playing bass flute in our flute choir and uh, during rehearsals after playing for a bit, she had to just put her arms down. She's only 14 and uh, she had to put her flute down and wait for a little bit and then pick it back up because your arms do get tired. Uh, so I think in that instance, you know, perhaps a bass flute, it would be a good choice there. Uh, also, I think that uh, playing on this flute, which let's just talk about the particular materials here. Uh, the material is a composite. So while you pick it up and you say, oh, it's plastic, it's not really plastic, apparently as uh, science would describe plastic. It is a composite of materials. So it has uh, different th mixtures of materials in it. So it's not just a plastic flute. And I think that's going to give it a better tone than your plastic recorder you get from Walmart. Uh, something else, the wood, faux wood finish here. You can't see it terribly well on the red. I've seen it looking a little bit more defined on a different 
uh, colored flute, but that faux finish gives it a nice texture for your hands to grip onto. So you don't feel like, so this head joint here is not textured and it's certainly slippery. And this gives you something to hang on to. You feel like you're not going to slip off uh, or your finger on this side. There's that texture is going to hold on to it. But with that composite material, you could play it on any outdoor concert. Perhaps at a wedding, you might not want a red one, but uh, outdoor concerts or concerts in the park in the summer, and you're not worried about humidity, you're not worried about uh, rain, it can handle that. So I think there are reasons why you would want this other than just that my hands feel better in a light instrument. Something else I notice is the bore size. Uh, I haven't necessarily compared it to my flute, but I feel like it's a little wider. And I was a little concerned about that because I have a friend who has a Haynes wooden flute and I was playing on that for a little while. She gave it to me to use when my flute was getting worked on so that I wouldn't have, uh, I was had a concert coming up and I needed to keep practicing. So she lent me that. And what I found with the way my hands are that I don't know why that particular flute was just a little bit wider around in this uh, bore uh, shape. And uh, my hands didn't want to practice that very long. But I think even if that's slightly bigger, because it's so light, I mean, it, it is so light that uh, I would not have the same problem working on it for any length of time. All right, let's just talk about price point. It's a really good price point. Now, um, I there's no guarantee that if I you bought this flute today, that next week it's going to be that same price because the market fluctuates. But you know, less than a thousand dollars is what you're looking at for this. And uh, you know, I, I guess if you were thinking it's just a plastic flute, why is it so much? It's not just a plastic flute. And there's a lot of engineering that goes into making this be really precision instrument with the composite materials being used here. So let me play a little bit. So what I think I need to do is adjust my embouchure. So what I notice is that the embouchure hole is slightly smaller than what I have. The lip plate feels much the same. It's not a whole lot different, but I almost feel like the embouchure hole is sort of like a piccolo. And with a piccolo, uh, you move the embouchure up a little higher on your lip. And I'm going to do that. So here it is where I normally play. <laughs> difference. Let me settle it into the right spot. if you could hear a difference, but when I moved it up a little bit, I feel like a hiss was taken out of the tone. So I think you do have to modify where you put this on your lip, depending on your size of your lower lip when you're playing, uh, much like the piccolo. So lower, a little bit higher. You can definitely hear the hiss is there when I put it where I normally do with my flute. So with a little modification, I can make that sound pretty good. And what do you think of the tone? Because I think it feels, it sounds pretty good. I don't mind it too much. That high register was very easy to speak. It really came out very nicely. Oh, and I 
think you're going to find that in the low register, that delay that you have when you play a regular metal flute, that delay is a little bit less. It's truncated. So it's a little bit easier to just... Tongue that low register. It's coming out pretty nicely. Now, I think that uh, what you're going to miss a little bit is, of course, it's not going to resonate the same as your metal flute. I mean, it's not made out of metal. It's not made out of solid silver or gold. So you, of course, aren't going to get that same sound. Uh, but I think if you are needing something that's lighter, you have, uh, you want to take your flute on the go places and you need something light to carry, or if you're having hand problems, uh, this would be a really nice choice because the sound is really quite nice. It, it's a lovely sound. can make it sound pretty nice. As soon as I find the right spot on my lip, the tone came out beautifully. So uh, I think that it's a great choice for the price. Uh, I think maybe also if you have a youngster that wanting, is wanting to take flute, um, it's a lower price. You're not putting a lot of money into it. It's probably pretty hardy, but I would think it could crack. So uh, you, you can't just let your youngster throw it around, but um, it's a good price for a starting flute. Um, and I, I think you'd be really happy with it, or your child would be happy with it, or if you're playing a lot of outdoor gigs, this would be a great choice. So give the Guo flute a try. I think you're going to really like it. Uh, it's not going to do everything that you want it to do. I mean, it can play everything that you want, but it's not going to have the same resonance and perhaps not the same volume control. Uh, I thought tapering on this was pretty easy to do, but you might not get as much uh, projection from this instrument. Uh, so if that's a big issue for you, then perhaps this is not the flute for you. But as a backup instrument, as a as an outdoor instrument, something that you can easily play and pick up and carry with you in different environments, perfect choice. So check out the Guo flute. You'll be happy that you did. So I'm going to try a different head joint on this. This is also a Guo head joint, and the composite material is called Grenadita. Uh, it's almost like a wooden head joint. So it, it's going to give it a little bit different of a tone quality. Let me play a little bit with it. sweeter tone quality, I think. The density of this composite gives it a, a very different sound. Again, I am moving it on my lip a little bit. Uh, and I just, I noticed that there's a difference in the length of the tube from the lip plate up than there was on the original head joint. So probably that has something to do with the way it sounds, but it's interesting. I think it's sweeter all the way around. That low register was nice and rich. Uh, and this sound up here in this register that I was playing with, middle range kind of register, uh, was really quite beautiful. Again, a really good choice. It does add to the price of the instrument if you're moving to this head joint. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive to have this. But if you're looking for that lightness, it may be it's a tiny bit heavier than the the original head joint that the red head joint that was on it but it's i would say negligible i i feel it maybe if i'm thinking about it um that there's a little bit more weight on this end than there was with the other but it's really still very very light so you'll still be be happy with this choice <laughs> 